Today's video is going to begin a new series at our channel called How to Create a Passing System in Madden NFL 16. Alright, so what we're going to do with this series, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to today's video. And what we're going to be doing with this, uh, this series here is basically we're going to teach you from an article by Dan Gonzalez over at SmartFootball.com. And in this article, Dan Gonzalez gives 12 different components of how to build a complete passing system. I think that this is going to help you uh, in creating your playbooks, creating your schemes, creating your, your concepts. And so I'm excited to get started. This is going to be episode one. And what we're talking about today is we're saying that a good passing system has um, has concepts in it that give receivers the opportunity to defeat tight man-to-man -man coverage. And this is a perfect place to start in Madden 16 because man coverage is very, very effective. So what I want to do here real quick, guys, is I want to get my best man coverers in here. So we're going to bring in Burley. And we're going to play some two-man under press defense. I'm going to show you a couple of things we can do to beat it. So when you're going through your plays, what you want to do is you want to find routes that have quick cuts to them. So we're in the St. Louis Rams playbook today, and we're just going to show you uh, a, a, sample, a sample play here. So we'll just look through here and say we want to work out of this tight offset formation, right? Because this is... Uh, a good it's a good formation to beat man to man uh, because it's a it's a it's a compressed set and compressed set allows you to have some pick routes in the article Dan Gonzalez says this he says uh, this is more important than simply having two or three pick plays that a team uses this concept encompasses development of release and separation techniques on individual routes and the emphasis of accuracy and timing on the part of the passer and having viable options that can separate from man-to-man -man coverage on every single passing play. So now that we've heard that, let's take this concept to Madden. So obviously we can't really, we can't really teach our receivers specific releases, but what we can do is we can create specific releases. So what we want to do is when we're looking through our plays, we want to find basically routes that we can motion snap um, and they're going to have quick cuts for example you don't want to motion snap like a deep post route because a deep post route is going to take quite a bit of time to get open and the pressure could probably be in so let's just use an example here so so something that looks like a pretty good route would be this drive out route so if you look at the far route the, the route on the far left uh, receiver here what you'll notice is it's a quick, it's just a quick breaking pattern. Okay, now let's use, um, let's use this, uh, let's see here, let's take a look at this, um, this spot corner. So you'll notice now um, what we have is basically a whip route. Again, that's going to take too long. The spot route is not going to have a real cut. It's more of a sit down hitch type route. So really the only play that we have in this specific one that we would want to work with would be drive out. Now we obviously have our hot routes and things like that that we can do. But let's just show you what we want to do. So there's a couple of different ways that you can beat man to man. The first is by having superior talent. So for example, Larry Fitzgerald is sometimes just going to get open because he's a, a superior talent. He's a stud receiver. You don't want to depend on that because again, what if they have a better corner than you have receiver? Then you're kind of in trouble. Okay? So the, so the second, the, the next two ways are really the, the more important ones to focus on here. The first one is a pick route. And what a pick route basically is, is a similar to like a pick and roll in basketball. And what the pick does in basketball is they're going to rub. They're going to rub each other, and the defender's hopefully going to run into the receiver that's setting the pick. Uh, I was teaching some basketball last night, and was trying to teach some kids the you know how to do the pick and I talked about rubbing the shoulders you know rubbing the shoulders of the screen so that the person that's going to be picked is going to get is going to have to be forced into contact with them if they're not paying attention 
Now the same concept applies to Madden. We're going to try to do the same thing when we're facing man-to-man -man defense. And then the third way is through uh, what I would call motion snaps, what, what Dan Gonzalez calls separation technique. Okay? And we're going to use motion snaps in Madden because that's the only way we can do it. So what we're going to try to do here, and this is where I talk about, I talk this about all this time, is, is this concept of leverage. And every year there's different types of, um, you know, different types of meta. This season you want to have outside leverage on outside breaking patterns. If you have an inside breaking pattern, you want to have inside leverage. So let me just show you. This is a, a little bit of an exaggeration, but I want to show it just so you can understand what I'm trying to say. So if the defense is, is spread out like this, right, if they base align their defense, well, what this means is that um, what this is going to mean is that Richard Sherman is going to be covering Larry Fitzgerald. Well, Larry Fitzgerald has inside position, so I'm going to want to throw this ball inside. So I snap the ball here, and I just throw a quick bullet to Larry Fitzgerald, and it's going to beat that man-to-man. -man. That's that leverage I was talking about. And this goes back to the concept of separation technique. You know, where are they playing? Are, and when they're playing two-man under, a lot of times they're going to give you they're, – they're basically playing trail technique. And what that really means is they're going to give you outside leverage. That's why uh, you see NFL quarterbacks throw back shoulder throws and things like that all the time. So all of this to say what you really want to do this season when you're trying to beat man-to-man -man coverage is two things. You want to have outbreaking patterns because the meta of the game is to play a two-man under. Now, let me show you. If the defense is in a cover one, their technique changes. So cover one, because you have a safety and a robber in the middle of the field, then they're going to want to play outside release because they're, they're going to guard against that fade. But if you notice in the two-man under – you'll see that the safeties here, basically the safeties are breaking to the outside, so you're going to have that inside technique because the safeties are bailing to the end zone. But in some situations, you'll get something like this where they'll be in like a robber, and this is what it would look like. This is a sample cover one. Now in this, the corners would want to play you know, to the sidelines because the safeties are going to have, them, have their back on the inside. That's why when you're facing – cover one you want to throw slants but when you're facing two men under you want to throw deep out breaking patterns corner routes back shoulder throws type of stuff so i hope that makes sense but basically when we're looking at beating man to man the simplest thing is to have a rub route so what we'll do with this specific play is i like to use jermaine gresham as my rub so you can do uh, put him on a little hitch route here and what that's going to do it's going to give you some separation here with uh, Larry Fitzgerald. So we'll show you here. So Larry Fitzgerald goes, and I want to show you what happens on this uh, little pick, little little rub route that we've got going here. So it's just a simple, and you can do it with your hot routes. Uh, you could just put Fitz on a drag, but let me just show you what happens. So basically here, Gresham comes, and he sits, and what this does is it causes a lot of congestion here for uh for Sherman, and he's not able to come down and get on that inside release, and we're able to get an easy completion. Okay, now you can do this uh, with something as simple as a drag, a drag and a hitch. So here we're going to hot route fits to a drag route. And what you'll see is that he should get that separation. And there you see there's that pick. Sets so the pick very well. Because it's a video game too, they, you get pretty consistent. They can't really do anything about it. So that helps us out a little bit, makes it a little bit more simple. So you'll notice here, so basically we're going to set this um, this pick. So you set that pick and wa-boom, and they, get, they run into each other and Fitzgerald has some separation. So that's the first way to do it. And then the final way is uh, separation, uh, separation technique, which I was talking motion snap. So when you see two high safeties like this, this is your cue. They're probably playing inside technique. So that means that I want to beat it by releasing to the outside. Um, so in this situation, I want to call a play that has patterns that are going to break to the outside. So on this play, I have John Brown on a speed out to the left. But I want to get him a free release. I don't want him to jam me. So we're going to motion him a step or two. And he's going to get that free release. And well, boom, there is a very simple concept. 
to beat man-to-man -man coverage, okay? Now, you can do this. You don't need a speed. You don't have to have a speed out. You can actually do this with just a regular 10-yard out route. The problem is it takes a little longer, but we'll show you this. Just a quick little out route here, and when he breaks to that outside, you're going to have that wide open, okay? So, again, understanding where is their technique going to lie. Now, when you get into chess, is, and, and this is why you want to have one outbreaking pattern and one inside breaking pattern because if they go, you know, say they do something like this, you know, they go cover one on you and they say, hey, you know, we're not, we're not playing any more games. You, you get outside, you know, you get outside. But what that's going to tell us then is we say, okay, okay, so he's got outside leverage now. So we check down to our inside breaking pattern where you're just Okay, that's why you need to have both hands. But again, this is some concepts that you can take and put into your scheme, I think, and this is going to be helpful to you. So let me know if you have any questions about this video. Uh, but what we're talking about here, again, I want to recap the basic idea, the first principle in Dan Gonzalez's article is that it gives receivers the opportunity to defeat tight man-to-man -man coverage. And we do that through three ways. The first is by having a high route running rating, so a superior talent high route running rating. The second is by using natural picks and rubs. So we showed that with the drag and the hitch. And then the third is separation techniques. And what we're going to use in Madden, we're going to call it motion snaps. What that basically means is when you see two high, you want to have outbreaking patterns. When you see single high, you want to have in-breaking patterns. So hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, uh, leave a like rating. If uh, you have any questions, guys, please let me know. And also, I have one question that I'd like to hear from you on. What from me do you? What What are some types of videos you would like to see from me before men 